God is saying to you today, be aware of the people you call friends. Are they bringing you closer to me, or are they getting you further? Separate yourself from them if they are leading you further from me, because the further you are from me, the more you will feel lost and alone in this world. Like this video if you believe. God says, I don't want perfection. Slow down. I love you. Satan doesn't want you to pray, which is why he'll do everything he can to stop you. Prayer has power and Satan knows it. I love you. Don't worry. Things may be difficult, but remember who God is. He can turn any situation around. His word will never fail. Be still and know that He is God. 222 You are in the right place at the right moment, move forward with harmony. Forgive yourself and others. You are aligned with your life path. 1717 Angels are constantly watching over you and recognize. That this is a turning point for you a big positive shift is coming in your finances, relationships, care and health. Something stressful is about to exit your life, to be replaced by a blessing. Amen. 5555 The universe has chosen you to be wealthy so that you can help others with your wealth, type yes to affirm. God says. You tried. It's okay. You gave it all you had. You should be proud, you pushed yourself. You are not a failure, you are a warrior. Prepare yourself, because I am opening new doors for you. I love you. God is not in the business of leaving things broken and messy. He's not a God that sees a hard situation, shrugs, and says, I guess I'm not really sure what to do with this one. He's a God that brings life from death, beauty from ashes, hope from despair, light from darkness, and healing from the most broken, mixed up, and messy situations. 2.22 It's time to get excited again. I am going to surprise you. Unexpected blessings are coming your way. Let go of the stress and trust me. I am going to rock your world. Get ready, type, yes, if you're ready. When God gives you a vision, when he lays something on your heart, see it through. Sometimes following him looks really, really crazy to everyone else, but when you step out on faith, he will never fail to meet you there. Yes indeed, it won't be long now, God's decree. Things are going to happen so fast your head will swim, one thing fast on the heels of the other. You won't be able to keep up. Everything will be happening at once and everywhere you look, blessings. Blessings like wine pouring off the mountains and hills. 222 Every negative thing that has made you cry over the years will fade away and be replaced with, happiness, love, laughter and blessings. Type 222 to affirm. God says, I look at you and I smile. You mean so much to me. I love you. Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive the glory and the honor and the power for you created all things, and because of your will they exist, and were created and brought into being. But when the kindness and love of God our Savior was revealed, He saved us. It was not because of any good deeds that we ourselves had done, but because of His own mercy that He saved us, through the Holy Spirit, who gives us new birth and new life by washing us. Amen if you believe. Never stop praying for people. Never stop having a good heart if God places someone on your mind, pray for them. A prayer can change someone's life. Remember that. 
Amen if you believe. Almighty God, today you have blessed us. You have given us the gift of life, good health, food, and shelter. We have been blessed with warmth and sunshine, peace, and a thankful heart. While today may not be a special day, O oh God, we have enjoyed it as another day full of blessings. God is rewriting your story. Your heart is going to be restored, repaired, and replenished. Your wasted years will be given back to you. This heartache and pain you are going through right now, is a part of His plan. This pain has a purpose. God values your emotions, and He sees right through you. He knows how you feel right now, and He wants you to stay in hope and in faith. Don't be pondering on those wasted years that have gone. The greatest promise of the Bible is not just that God will restore His people, but that He will restore creation. Remember, God will never waste anything you go through in life. If you'll keep the right attitude, He'll turn that situation around for your good. It doesn't matter how you got there, whether it was by your own poor choices or maybe someone else treated you unfairly, God wants to use that situation to do a work in you. He'll take that evil and turn it around for your good. You may be uncomfortable at times, but you've got to know that you are growing, and God is building your character. A man who blames God for not answering his prayers immediately needs to thank God for not punishing him for his sins immediately. If it wasn't for the struggle you wouldn't have the strength. God is always building you even when it seems like he's breaking you. The same God who makes sure the sun and moon rise every day, is going to take care of whatever it is you're worrying about. Did you know there's a prayer called the, I don't know, prayer? You just go off somewhere quiet and you walk right up to the heart of God and you say, I don't know. I don't know where to go from here. I don't know what is happening. I don't know how to process this. I don't know what to do with these emotions. I don't know how to handle this situation. It covers a lot of I don't knows. And then with whatever dusty little sand grain of faith you have, you say, but you know. And you leave it there. God most certainly hears that prayer. God says. When you face suffering, you must be able to lay aside concern for the flesh and to not make complaints against God. When God hides himself from you, you must be able to have the faith to follow him, to maintain your previous love without allowing it to falter or dissipate. No matter what God does, you must submit to his design and be prepared to curse your own flesh rather than make complaints against him. When you are faced with trials, you must satisfy God though you may weep bitterly or feel reluctant to part with some beloved object only this is true love and faith. If you agree please declare Amen. God says. Those who are wise will shine like the brightness of the heavens, and those who lead many to righteousness, like the stars for ever and ever. Sometimes God will inconvenience you in order to help somebody else. Instead of getting frustrated when our plans don't work out, we need to remember that it's not all about us. Maybe God has you there on purpose to let your light shine. He's counting on you to be a good influence on someone else. God says you're not reading this by accident that I know how much you want to be with someone. I know how much you want someone else to love you the way you love. I know it all. You have to trust me first. I will make a way. Type Amen and share if you believe. I admire you so much for the progress you've been making. I can see God working in you, even in your toughest moments, 
you're quietly overcoming challenges and becoming a better version of yourself. Take a moment to acknowledge how far you've come and keep pushing forward that I am so proud of you. If you love God share His message. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go, I will counsel you. I pray you get through the battles you don't talk about. I pray that you overcome the struggles you only share with God. My friend, I pray that your insecurities are buried in the ground, and you realize how wonderfully made you are. I pray that you discover your worth, surpassing that of diamonds and rubies. I pray that you learn to trust God when times are tough and you feel lost. I I pray that you grow into an unshakable believer. And I pray that if and when you're hanging on by a thread, it's by his robe. Good and gracious Father in heaven thank you for another day God we have only a limited time on this earth, but an eternity waiting on us in heaven. God I ask that as we face these hardships of life whether it's financial or just mental warfare God I just ask that you walk with us and show us that this is just character development and trouble won't last always and it's spiritual building for us to enter your kingdom thank you for all you do for your children amen. Help me as I enter this new season in my life. Reveal the purpose of this new season. I will rely solely on you to get through it. God has a wonderful way of turning negatives into positives. Trust that God will bring the right things into your life at the right time. I choose to know what love is on the deepest level of its brilliant expression. In all of its wonderful forms, I allow it in now. I allow this love to manifest itself into my entire being, into my core, throughout my entire body, through all my thoughts and into all my actions. This love flows into and empowers all of my relationships, my goals and my manifestations. Whatever I am choosing to create is immersed in total love. I breathe love in with every inhale. Every exhale is a complete surrender to a deeper connection to what love really is. Universal divine love, which makes up the entire universe flows into me, through me, for me, and for me now. In this truth, you are love as I am love. Thank you angels. Thank you universe. I am in need of guidance. We have been programmed to believe that we are lesser than what and who we really are. To believe that old, outdated circumstances and habits, still apply to us today. This is not necessarily true. Although it may apply for some, we are meant to be free. We are a different spirit of people today. I know I am not meant to live such an obedient, suppressed life, if it is not to God's will. So today, I ask, to be free now, forever and never have to request this assistance again. I ask to be alive in the light and truth of my passion and purpose, connected to the universal spirit of love and freedom. No more will I be the victim or a sheep in society's game. No more will I be subjected to the negativity of a false identity. I am who I am. I am a bright, brilliant, limitless child of the universe and I know that everything in my future is one with infinite love. Thank you angels. Thank you universe. At the edge of my eyes sits the tears of pain from the years of neglect, and built up frustration from a lack of love. From a lack of being heard, felt and understood. 
This is a tough moment in need of acceptance and a tough truth to admit. But here I am angels. I need your help letting go of the fear and worry about my future that is tied to the ways I was once treated. I need help letting go of the pain and struggle I face right now. The unloved version of myself is in need of a loving embrace. The version of myself that doesn't have its needs met and its heart held high in respect and comfort. I need help letting go of all that weighs my heart down so I can shine the light I incarnated on earth to shine. Please help me be heard, please help me respected, please help me be and feel loved. I need this. Thank you angels, thank you universe. I call upon you now. The days are becoming brighter and longer. The energy if each day is shifting into new beginnings. I watch intently as the light breaks through the cracks in the doorway as the doors slowly open to new possibilities, new beginnings and opportunities divinely sent my way. Help me shake the stagnant energy off now from the dormant state I've been resting in. It's time, and I'm ready. Show me how to rise up to the light potential within me and break these chains to inactivity. Show me how to thrive again. Show me how to achieve greatness again. Show me how to put my faith in the one love of the universe so that I may teach others and awaken them to bright new day ahead. This is meant to be time of success wealth and prosperity for us all, show me how to match that vibration and to be the energy of greatness now and again. Thank you angels, thank you universe. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. I declare that I am marvelously helped by the Lord. Let every hanging blessing over my life find full expression in every area of my life. The Lord has become my exceedingly great reward. I am in alignment with the perfect will of God for my life, by the anointing, I do great exploits, I operate in covenant, I walk in unusual wisdom, I break forth on every side, help meets help in my life, and the glory of the Lord shall be seen upon me in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I can't stand alone without you. You are the reason why I'm still here. Without you in my life, I'd have never made it. If God is important in your life, Amen. You have wonderfully created me and I thank you for that. I am more than enough in your eyes. Prevent me from comparing myself to others. Do not let social media or society standards intrude my thoughts and lower my self-esteem. I rebuke any negative thoughts out of my life. There isn't no comparison because we are all unique. Nobody can be me, and I can't be nobody else. Teach me how to appreciate and accept myself for who I am. Today I let go of the comparing and bad thoughts about myself and I invite in confidence and security. Bless me with clarity so that I can see myself the way that you see me. I in Jesus' name I pray, Amen. Holy Spirit of God, give life to my finances, give life. To my marriage, give life to my 
Family, give life to my health, give life to my country, give life to my mind in the name of Jesus. Be my comforter, be my helper, be my defender. Amen. Thank you for blessing us with a new week. As we begin this week, we come, pray before you with gratitude and reverence. We pray that in this week, regardless of the circumstances we face, no matter how great the challenges may be, may we be obedient and peaceful before you. Grant us wisdom and courage to face all dangers and challenges. Lord, you know our needs and our thoughts. When we encounter difficulties and trials, please grant us steadfast faith so that we may obediently follow your will and accept your arrangements with peace. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, Amen. Thank you for this day and for the blessings you've bestowed upon us. Grant us strength and guidance as we navigate through life's challenges. Help us to show kindness and compassion to others, and to always strive for love and understanding. Bless our families, our friends, and all those in need. May your light shine upon us and lead us on thief of righteousness. In your name we pee, Amen. Imagine in heaven one day some person walks up to you and says, I'm here because you weren't ashamed and told me about Jesus. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me to the beginning of a new day. I ask you to renew my heart with your strength and purpose. Forgive my mistakes of yesterday and help me to walk closer to your will today. Shine through me so that every person I meet may feel your presence in my soul. In Jesus' name, I pray. If God has been good to you, Amen. The trials and pressures in life are making it difficult for me to breathe. Please, hold me close and give me a chance to find relief within your embrace. Lord, I've been too self-righteous trying to handle everything on my own and forgetting that you are in control of all. Forgive my arrogance, Lord. Now, I surrender everything into your hands. May you assist and transform me, helping me recognize your guidance amidst challenges. May this tough situation be a tool for shaping me. I believe, with the strength provided by Christ, I can overcome anything. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray. Amen. I am so thankful to have you as the author of my life. You've done so much for me, and without you I am nothing. Help to prioritize you in every single day and try to see things from your perspective. I love you, Lord. I in Jesus' name, Amen. Today, I want to express my gratitude for this beautiful day you have blessed me with. I pray for your protection and guidance over the people I love and care about, keeping them safe from all harm and temptations. May you watch over them and lead them along the path you have prepared, bringing them closer to you. God, if possible, 
Please bless me with your wisdom, guide me with your words. May you teach me to love you more deeply. If you love God and are not ashamed of him, comment Amen. Thank you for not giving up on me. Thank you for waiting patiently through my failures, my wanderings, and my sins. Thank you for showing me the road back to you, and for welcoming me with open arms. You are merciful and kind. Lord, help me to always remember your love, that I may not stray again. In Jesus' name, Alpha Mu Epsilon Nu. The seeds you have sown are blooming in this season. The seeds of faith are blooming into miracles. There has been a garden the Lord has been preparing, and every seed you sowed in faith was planted in holy soil. Your prayers and faith have watered it, and kept it active, but in this season they will bloom. Wait for it. Watch for it. Expect it suddenly. Today, I pray for who is reading this message. As you go through your day's activities God will save you from the spirit of fear and give you an unwavering spirit. God is giving you wisdom to discern the lies of the enemy that tries to fill you with fear, worry, and anxiety. The light of God will illuminate every area of your life where there is darkness. May God rebuke anything and anyone projecting fear into your life. May God help you to trust in Him in times of trouble. May God remove people in your life who are only there to put fear in you. May the Holy Spirit of God help you to take your fears to God in prayers instead of worrying. In Jesus' name, whatever it is you are afraid of will not end the way the enemy planned it. Amen. Are you broken? Tired? Do you wonder if things will ever get better? Trust me, I understand how you feel. I was the same way but Jesus Christ changed everything for me. He will do the same for you. Seek Him. Trust Him. Follow Him. It is the greatest decision you will ever make. Lord, you made us in your image. Yet you formed U.S. with great variety and uniqueness. Lord, the complexity of mankind testifies to the depth of your creative power and your very being. Thank you for calling people of every nation, language, and race to be your people. Help U.S., Lord to find unity in you as we testify together to your great saving power. In Jesus' name, Amen. I need you. Help me to not lose faith when things seem to go wrong. Lord, I trust in your plans for my life. I know that you have great things for me this year, but I also know that sometimes things have to fall apart in order for things to fall into place. I know that sometimes in order to receive breakthrough, 
things have to break. Whatever it takes, Lord. I know that everything you do is for my good. I'm asking you to prepare me to receive whatever you give me. I'm trusting you with the unknown and I'm walking into everything you have for me, Lord. Amen if you believe in God and are not ashamed of him. Lord, thank you for today give me confidence to face any troubles I may face today. Keep reminding me I am a daughter of God and that with putting my faith in you, Lord, that I will have the confidence and strength to do all things. You are so good. Amen. I need you. I seek your presence. May nothing come between us today. Guide me in selecting your path, so each stride brings me nearer to you. Assist me in following your teachings over my emotions. Grant me the ability to maintain a sincere and focused heart. Shield me from my heedless thoughts, words, and deeds. In Jesus' name, Amen. If you cherish God and resonate try remix this prayer, say Amen. Heavenly Father, I thank you for my life. Today, I come before you to pray about the setbacks in my life. No matter how hard I try, Things just seem to be going downhill for me. So I come to you in prayer. I receive the power of divine restoration in Jesus' name. I decree and declare that no weapon fighting against my life shall prosper. I fire back any evil arrow that has been shot at me. By the blood of Jesus, whatever evil arrow fired against my destiny, backfire. Any evil power working against my life be consumed by the Holy Spirit. I decree and declare that by the power of the blood, I shall bounce back. I declare victory over my life and everything I do in Jesus' name, Amen. We come before you seeking strength and courage amidst storms of life and challenges that seem insurmountable. Thank you Lord for your word reminds us not to be afraid or anxious for anything but to submit everything to you. Lord, infuse our hearts with the courage of David, the strength of Samson and the resilience of Esther. Teach us to walk by faith in you. When we are weak in spirit and in our bodies, be our strength and courage to face each day. Grant us the wisdom to recognize the opportunities that each challenge brings, and the clarity to see your hand at work in our lives, and the boldness to step out in faith trusting you wholeheartedly in Jesus' name, Amen. Hustle culture is not from God. Jesus was never in a hurry. One of his best friends was sick and died and he took four days to go to him. Today, we pleading with your infinite love, power and renew our spirit providing comfort and support us, 
grant us more strength and courage to overcome any obstacles that stand in our way today. When we are feel weary and discouraged, I'll surrender my worries and my fears to you and I place them in your compassionate care. Help us to prioritize our spiritual well-being that our relationship and faith on you getting deepen and be strengthened, Lord. Please place a hedge of protection around me to my family and my friends keeping us secure and abundantly blessed in your loving care that I in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, no matter what happens in my life, remind me that you have the final say. Teach me to obey you in everything and never complain no matter the highs and lows. Today, I'm getting my hopes up and choosing not to focus on yesterday's defeats. I pray that you wake up the promises in me and breathe new life into my dreams. In Jesus' name. Amen. Respond with Amen, if God is with you. For if they, having escaped the defilements of the world through the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, again become entangled and overcome by them, their last condition is worse than their first. Nothing good ever comes from being in a hurry. Did you know psychologists have found that when we're in a constant state of hurry we have fatigue, headaches, and a compromised immune system? Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Finding Faith Sometimes it feels impossible to just believe, to really feel that all is well, to know that everything will work out, to just trust, to simply let go and allow yourself to be driven, guided by a higher power, with a higher purpose and you, with your higher calling. But even if just for today, I choose to surrender. Surrender my fear, my lack of being able to simply allow, my inability to simply surrender, angels I give this to you. I will do everything it takes, everything in my power right now, knowing that you are helping me, to truly and ultimately trust in the universal power and to have faith. Faith that all, really will be well. Starting now. Thank you angels, thank you universe. Through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed, because His compassions fail not. They are new every morning, great is your faithfulness. Say this prayer Father in the name of Jesus, have mercy on me. By your mercy restore me, help me, fight for me, save me. Amen. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Heavenly Father, in times of worry about the future, I come before you seeking peace and assurance. Your word in Matthew 6 verse 34 reminds me not to worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Lord, 
I confess that the unknowns of the future often cloud my mind with anxiety. I lay these worries at your feet, trusting in your sovereign care. Help me to live in the present moment, embracing the peace and grace you provide for today. Teach me, O oh God, to trust in your plans and timing. You see the entire tapestry of my life, and you hold every thread in your hands. Let my heart find rest in knowing that you are sovereign, and you're at work in my life. Fill me with the strength to face each day with courage and faith, leaning not on my understanding but on your wisdom. Guide my steps, and lead me in your paths of righteousness. Thank you, Lord, for your promise to be with me always. Help me to cast all my anxieties on you, knowing you care for me deeply. In Jesus' name. I pray for a heart that trusts in you completely, finding peace in your loving presence. Amen. Please enter my home, remove the indifference and discord inside, and let forgiveness, peace, and love fill every room. Lord, I entrust my family and friends into your hands, no matter where they are, may they receive your protection and blessings. Lord. Please stay in our house, be with us forever. In Jesus' name. Amen.